Okay, figured I'd make a quick little video to show you guys how to change the filters in a kinetical reverse osmosis. So, I'm going to demonstrate that now. So basically, step one, you want to locate the shutoff valve, which on my system is uh, on the soft water, the first soft water outlet coming from the softener, and that runs into the unit. And then after you shut the feed line off, you will also want to shut the tank off if that option is available. On some of the newer systems, that's not available, so you would just disregard that step. Um, and then at this point, I would typically go up to the kitchen and open up the faucet, which would relieve the pressure from the system. And uh, another step that's a good step to just prevent water from pouring back, um, shutting off the ice maker. So once you've got the... Um, uh, feed line shut off, the tank shut off, the ice machine shut off, and then the kitchen faucet opened up, then you'll want to take this filter off and replace it with a new one. Uh, they On the new ones, they typically come in a sealed package like that. <clears throat> and then um, I typically put the date on that I recently changed them. So then I just have an idea in my mind of of when uh, the next time approximately will be. Uh, on my system, though, you can see uh, we have uh, our pyrometer, which basically shows you what your filter life is, which is a really, really nice feature. Um, so I would just change one filter at a time. Uh, they're a quarter turn, so just take it off, bring it down. You might get a little bit of water spillage, but... I typically take my salt tank lid and I flip that underneath or I set it somewhere so it catches water and then that extra water I just dump it in my salt tank or down in my sump pump. So then you'll replace the filters, you put it back together and then I slip, I typically what I do is turn the water on slow, uh, feeding the system, let it repressurize, uh, then I open up the tank and then what you want to do is let your tank drain out. Uh, at least one time, one or two times. Um, what that does is help relieve any, uh, release rather any of the carbon that's built up um, that comes comes from the post filter. So that's pretty much how you do um, the filter change. And uh, any questions, put some comments below, and um, I'll make sure I answer them. Uh, have a good one and enjoy your Connecticut water system.